All right, friends, I was uh, out delivering a hot tub and I was close to this town, so I thought I would stop. This is Carothersville, Missouri. Something strange happened here. Uh, the mayor, Rick Davis, died in a house fire. He was the second mayor in a row to die in office. The previous mayor, Diane Sayre, died in office, and as did the next mayor pro tem, Frank Morgan. Uh, Davis's death followed an attack in the city hall where two uh, employees were attacked by a knife-wielding guy that was mad about his water bill. So, an unusual little town, but I found something that I thought was worth talking about, a little levee system. So here we go. Friends, I am in a small town in Missouri called Carothersville, and I saw something here that I thought was interesting that I wanted to show you. Never seen this anywhere before in a town. They've got a wall here, and you can see it's got 89 and 90. This is the end of the wall, and it's a big mound buildup. But what this is, is a wall to keep the town from flooding. You can see that there's a boat over there. The Mississippi River is right there. And they have this little system here where they can shut these gates. And you see they have gaskets on them. And the gate will lock in right here, be smooth right there, and it keeps the town from flooding. And it's all the way around the edge of the town on the side where the Mississippi is. I'll go to the other side and show you too so you can see the Mississippi River, but you can see the town out here. And uh, I just thought this was interesting. I've never seen this anywhere before. In Nashville, where I live, they do have something like this around Opry Mills now. They, the hotel and the uh, the mall where it got flooded. They've got something similar to this, so I'm assuming it's the same kind of setup. So there it is, friends. I will go to the other side and show you the Mississippi River. And I think they can close the door and then they have some other things that they can drop in here. They can drop in this part to, to seal it off. It says Memphis Engineering district USA and I am in Missouri I'm in a part of Missouri that's real small it's only about six miles or eight miles across I'm gonna go to the other side and show you there it is friends the mighty Mississippi River and it is flowing very quickly you see that move it there but if it decides to flood they have these gates back here right here that they can close and you can see the wall all the way down the wall goes it basically walls off the city from the rest of the uh, from the Mississippi River in case it floods interesting concept and then they have pumps that any water that could get over will pump it back in. So this park right here would actually be underwater. And in this park, they've got a memorial to Sterling Price Reynolds. Let's see if we can figure out who Sterling Price Reynolds is. He settled in Carothersville, which is where I'm at, Missouri. And he was the levee district engineer since 1900, Little River Drainage District. So he had something to do with this levee that is here, this wall that you see. So evidently they've been working on this stuff for many, many years. So the background noise is so loud, I decided to do voice over here because you couldn't understand what I was saying. That plant is really loud where I'm standing. 
And uh, on the wall here, they, of course, they have this Liberty Bell. I guess, I don't know what this bell was about. I never did figure it out, but it's like maybe they ring it when the flood's coming or something of that nature. It has some historical significance. Then on the wall, they show all the different flood levels. And the highest before 2011 was 46 feet. So 2011 was just uh, like a, a foot and seven inches higher than the previous high level. And uh, 47 feet high, almost 48 feet high from the original level is pretty darn high. And I'm going to show you on the other side of the wall where the mark is. So if it got much higher than that, these walls would not work. And uh, the sound is better when we get to that clip. Stay tuned. About it. The historic water level right there. So that's the highest that it's ever been which looks like it's a, over a foot and a half higher than, than the previous record, which was 1937. So there you have it, friends. The water got 47.7 feet, got to here from down there. So you can see the wall goes way down there. Goes way down there. So there's another levee down there. So this is the wall between the two levees. I think you took the other side. Gets his plate and it locks it off, keeps it safe, keeps the town from flooding. So this town could could be, it would have two or three feet of water in it based off of that water level. If they had, didn't have this, so let me give you that. If they didn't have this levee, this system, the water level would have been that high in that city right there, downtown. So there you go, friends. Now you know. So some notable people from this town would be Cedric Kyles, better known as Cedric the Entertainer, famous comedian, Deaf Comedy Jam, a lot of stuff with Steve Harvey, he was in the movie Barbershop, he did all kinds of different stuff. Another person from this town is Reggie Young. Reggie is an original member of the Bill Black combo. Bill Black was Elvis's first bass player. He also played on some Elvis records. Probably the one you would remember the most would be In the Ghetto, that gut string guitar, that's Reggie Young. Another one would be Suspicious Minds, Don't Cry Daddy, and he also played played with a lot of other famous bands and people. Waylon Jennings, he played with Joe Cocker, Dobie Gray, Roy Hamilton, Elvis's favorite singer, Jerry Lee, Johnny Cash, George Strait, The Highwaymen, Merle Haggard. He was in some high cotton, friends. He played with a bunch of cool people. Yes, indeed he did. So friends, this picture is an example of the floodwaters holding it back. You can see that the wall in the lower right corner, they're standing on the wall and that is the plant that was making so much noise on the Mississippi side of the wall. So it did work. Thanks for watching friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more adventures of the spa guy. So make sure when you're watching the weekly spa guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and watch the weekly spa guy friends. Thank you.